I headed outside to look for the garden. I guess I should run into it eventually if I follow the outside of the mansion. Past the dragon pine trees and turn the corner of the house. And what laid before me was a beautiful sprawling garden that looked like it came right out of a painting. I never would have imagined it from the austere front yard. It was a colorful flower garden. It's a very nice put together garden, yeah. I wish I could have like a small garden of my own, but yeah, you have to be outside for that. Everywhere I looked, an unbelievable spectacle of brilliant color filled my eyes. Oh, the words spilled from my mouth like a sigh. The only flower names I can remember are dandelions and tulips, but even I can appreciate truly beautiful things. Sakuma was right to suggest this for my first stop. The scent of the flowers was relaxing. The fragrance, which was much brighter and more complex than what you'd experience in front of a flower shop, got stronger the further I moved into the garden. Sorry if garden came out kind of weird when I said it. <laughs> what doesn't come out weird from my mouth? You could totally charge people to visit this place. Let's do that. More money. Just as I was enjoying my stroll, I noticed a black figure fumbling around on the other side of a flower bed. Is someone over there? I timidly approached, and sure enough, the black figure turned out to be someone in a black suit. A very pretty looking guy. Whoever it was had noticed me before I even opened my mouth and was now looking up at me. Uh, I can't imagine wanting to, like, do a garden, though, in a suit and tie like that. I mean, it is just a bow tie, it's not like a long tie, so it's not gonna, like, fall over and get dirty or whatever, but, you know, doing a- handling a garden in such a fancy uniform is just kinda annoying, it seems. I'm the one who startled. The person picking flowers had such a slight frame, I could hardly believe he was a man. あ、驚かせてごめん。えっと、初めまして。俺のことはもう聞いてたりするのかな。ご主人様。じゃあ、君も執事。はい。一ノ瀬東也です。初めまして。he had a very unique way of speaking. His face was totally deadpan, too. He looks about my age, so I'd kind of like to get to know him better, though. I think matching his tempo would be a tall order. I guess only weirdos become butlers. I tried as hard as I could to sound friendly. I wonder if he's only 20 in the Japanese version, but they made him 21 in case of, like, him drinking alcohol. Because I think you have to be 20 in Japan to drink alcohol, and in America you have to be 21. I believe in the UK you have to be, like, only 18 to drink alcohol, so they are lucky. Hatachi. Don't quote me on that, though. That's why I said I think. I said I felt. Oh, you're going Without another word, Ichinose went back to silently gathering flowers. Guess you just click or you don't. The gap between us is just too massive. And a strange thought when I looked at the flowers Ichinose was gathering. Whether this was a hobby or for work, those flowers looked way too plain to be put in a vase. Just as I thought he was going to give me a bitchy look for disturbing his work, he replied obediently. Oh, I see. You and I shouldn't have known that. They're not decorative flowers, but herbs for cooking. Ichinose paused for a moment and thought. 
そう一ノ瀬が作ったお庭 No way. There's just no way that's possible. Does he really expect me to believe he could have created this blossoming garden all by himself? Hey, some people just have a talent for like things you wouldn't even expect. I just realized he refers to himself in third person. That's usually not a good thing with people. Whether he really did build it or not, even if he's just maintaining it by himself, that's impressive enough on its own. It's impressive enough on its own. Apparently, he took it as a compliment, though. He smiled? I was just trying to make a joke, but maybe Flower Fairy wasn't that bad of a description for him, after all. As I found myself entranced by him, Ichinose got up without a word again and started to leave. At this point, I'm not expecting normal human interaction from this guy, but talk about things taking things to extreme. But talk about taking things to extreme. It's almost endearing. Where are you going? Oh, he said. I'm so sorry. I, I just completely forgot I didn't have to read that. Allow me to translate. I'm going to deliver these herbs I just picked to someone who wants them. Or something like that. If that someone is a person I haven't met yet, I might as well tag along. I turned to the house trying to catch up with Ichinose and found myself in a room filled with another nice smell. Oh, I think this is where we meet. It's a kitchen, but it's so big and the equipment's so fancy that it seems more like a professional one. I would love a kitchen like this just because it's so spacious. I mean, I don't cook. I mean, I kind of cook. I cook more lately than I have in like a long time, which is surprising because I'm so hugely depressed. I can't even imagine how I end up cooking for myself. But anyway, I would just like the space for a kitchen like that. Plus, like, they probably have a walk-in pantry, so, like, you could store tons of snacks in there. The, the person Ichinose must have been delivering these herbs to was standing in front of a gas stove. The source of the delicious smell seemed to be the pot he had on the burner. Seiji. Ichinose whispered, like some kind of incantation. Wonder what the other guy's name is. Oh, Hogini! Thank you. Yes. Ah! Oh, ah! Who wouldn't have jumped at such a sudden outburst? I thought my heart was going to stop. This is the character I chose first in the game, and so I'm gonna pick him again to play. So, basically this game, after we get the introductions done, we get to kind of just choose what we want to do, like, in full service, or say you Donchi. So that's kind of a cool thing that this game has. You don't end up on one specific route like you would for a Nitro game, basically. Who wouldn't have jumped at such a sudden outburst? I thought my heart was going to stop. Normally, I'd be put off by the aggressive over familiarity of his Kansai accent. I was actually relieved to have finally encountered a normal human being. Ah, Choi Machi Ichi no se, sore, kochi no kago. I love how he says thank yous. Kamine enthusiastically urged Ichinose out of the kitchen. It's not like Ichinose would have talked anyway, but I guess he must not have time to chat. I was alone in the kitchen with Kamine. Look at him, isn't he adorable? 
セージっていうハーブやねチャートかアルマオイルにもなるけど今回は肉の臭み消しと香り付けやな Even though I'm not really into the blonde type characters that much, but he's pretty cute. I like him. Plus, he has like the funnest personality of this game. So, yeah, Saki Sakuma, 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 I wasn't paying any attention to him, but he just kept talking and talking. Kamine's cheerful personality kept it from getting uncomfortable. So, Nichi no menu wa omakase no hoga omoro ya, na. Sekkak shinkon seikats ga hajimaru tchiu toki ni, itsu mo to kaaran mon kuase tonai sunnen te. Homma akan wa, ano karabutsu. Yeah, if he asked me what I wanted, I'd have asked for sushi or steak or something boring like that. My palate isn't particularly refined, and I wouldn't want to embarrass myself by BSing something on the spot. It kind of seems like he's screwing with me, but he's got my best interests at heart. He's screwing with you, all right? Ma, so na iwa yu demo. Request aru nara kikimasu e. Ore ni dekiru mon yatta ra nan demo otsukuri shimasu sakai ni. Eh, um, to. Ja. ずっと夢だったことがあるんだけどおっ何やええ前振り来たでこれ<笑>丸いケーキをそのまま丸ごと食べてみたいあっ You really have to laugh that hard. I know what a childish request it was. Eh, wa, kawaii wa, tamaran wa. So ya na, cake itchu tara, marui no itto ga nakan wa na. Sono hoga, cake dake ni cake mo etchu nen na. Sasu ga go shujin samae de, umai koto yu wa. Ha, mo omoroi wa. He's trying way too hard. It really pisses me off when people try to make fun of me. Uruzai na. なんでもいいって言うから答えたのに、本当に羊かよ。Technically he's more like a cook rather than a butler。羊やで。仕事は国産的なことばっかやっとるけど、ほらミーヤ、蝶ネクタイつけてシュッとしたこの姿、物ごっついイケてる羊やろ。ああもう分かったって。もう怒らんといてや。デザートのワンホールケーキは。腕によりかけて作ったのからなあホールインワンとはちゃうでめっちゃ似とるけど No no they don't It's too stupid to even justify a response Wait えマジで作ってくれんのマジもマジ大マジやでおもろいだけどちゃうねんでなんせご主人様の執事やからね He's not doing this weird reverse psychology thing on purpose, is he? He's not doing this to try to get me to say, maybe you're not so bad after all, right? Honda go chuji, o namae wa nante no? Eh, ore? Maeda Tomoaki. Ja, Tomo chan de na. Ii wake nai desho. Ya, Sakuma! When did Sakuma get here? I didn't notice him at all. I guess he really is a ninja butler. Anata, go shin sama ni nan to yu kotoba zukai o shiteiru ndesu ka? Shitsure ga sumimasu. Go shin sama, go bure o o yurushi kudasai. Komine, anata mo shazai suru no desu. Summa hen. Komine. Moushi wake gozaimasen deshita. They don't seem to get along too well. Yeah, they seem to get along as well as. God, what are their names again? I'm drawing a blank. Um, don't tell me. Yeah. Uh, Soda and Remy from Full Service. <laughs> Hell, Remy doesn't really get along with anyone in Full Service except for Tomoki, which is 1000% fine with me. Teyuka Sakuma san, nani shi ni kihattan desu ka? Chan to shigoto shite masu te. Lokanimade, Mimizawari no koe ga hibi te kimashita no de. Anata no hirei na mono ii wa hoka no mono ee no aku ee kyo ninaari masu kara. Dekiru dake kuchi o hirakanai de mora itai mono desu. 
あなんやと You could cut the tension with a knife. They might just be screwing around, and I couldn't imagine Sakuma starting a brawl. I was caught in the middle, and I wanted to do something about it. Do I dare but in? Ore, so so so, de tegro. Ya, but it's too bad. It's in it. Sakuma san, ore, wagi o kini kitain da kedo. Ah, kinga kikazu mochi wa kiarimasu. Maidi masho, go shujin sama. When we left the kitchen, I thought I heard a faint thanks from behind me. This time, Sakuma was following me. We're almost done meeting everybody. Think we have three more people? Yeah, three more people to go. I'd taken the lead just as an excuse to separate the two of them, but you know, it doesn't feel half bad to have someone following you like this. I couldn't help standing up straighter. Since all the doors on the second floor look pretty much the same, I was at an utter loss as to which room was mine. Yeah, this is kind of like the same door. Well, I guess this one is a drawback to such a uniform and composed interior design. When I glanced down the long hall, of course, it was lined with even more of the same doors. Can we get some, like, uh, more color up in here than just these plain brown doors. There's just something strange about seeing a line of similar objects like that. The atmosphere in the house was already pretty unusual to begin with, too. It was hard not to imagine that any of those doors could lead to a parallel dimension or something. Yeah, like in Goosebumps. The game. When you open, like, the closet in, like, the basement or something, it's like a parallel dimension or some random room. Then something even stranger happened. Appeared. Oh well. Not even Sakuma could hide his surprise. Yeah, see? This totally isn't normal, even for this place. A heavily ornamented dresser teetered its way over to us. At first glance, it seemed like it was worth about as much as it weighed. It's a dresser. A walking dresser. Ah, uh, I know. As I stared in amazement, I noticed a man's head peeking out from behind the huge thing. Obviously, furniture wouldn't be moving on its own. A person's doing it. Nothing weird about that. Though, could one person really carry that dresser alone? ご主人様ですかまあ、そういうことになるみたいだけど… <laughs> The man standing before me was flustered, but still clutching the dresser. He was probably trying to greet me with a bow or a handshake, but he couldn't do it without dropping that huge piece of furniture. He just apologized and didn't even try to put the dresser down. This macho man, who must have been in much better shape than me, was in total panic. I had no idea what to do. One wrong move and I could be a crushed. Be a crushed? Okay. Todo, Be a crushed, my god. Sakuma shouted, having finally snapped out of his stupor. Oh, well, duh. I thought to myself, suddenly keeping an eye on his movement. This shit is scary. それは見ればわかります。私が聞きたいのはなぜ今それをするのかということです。まずは持っているものを置いて落ち着きなさい。ご主人様の前で失礼です。は、はい。I guess this Toto guy calmed down enough to put the dresser down like he was told. The floor shook with a thud. I can't believe someone could carry something that heavy. He was now fully visible, and I felt keenly aware of the heft of his body. He looked like he was almost six feet tall, and he was so muscular it looked like his button-down shirt could burst at any moment. 
You don't get a body like that with half-assed trips to the gym. He must train seriously. Uh, can we get rid of this to see? Yeah, 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 you're, you're right. Sakuma had mentioned that there was a butler trained in martial arts. I guess it must be Toto. Okay, it is Toto. Because, like, every time I said his name, I was thinking of Toto from the Wizard of Oz, the little dog. I had a voice to match. I had a voice? He had a voice to match his huge body, too. He's a butler, too. They're all so unique. At least I'll never be bored. <coughs> you got that right. Toto is trying when Sakuma cleared his throat. I guess he's more timid than he looks. I don't know, but I think I'm going to try him second after Kamine. But that reaction was understandable in the face of Sakuma's silent glare. For a moment, it seemed almost like his cold eyes flashed behind his glasses in the middle of his otherwise gentle face. I felt overwhelmed myself. なぜ持ち出したのですかあ、あの、新しいご主人様の趣味によっては部屋のインテリアを変えるかもしれないってサクマさん言ってたっす。小さいものなら物置に片付けてすぐ模様替えできるって。それで窓からご主人様っぽい
I shouldn't have to do any. Wait, what? I don't have to read that. Nice bells. A boy seemingly popped out of nowhere, and I instinctively apologized. If I could say my least favorite thing in all of BL, it would probably be Shada characters. I don't like Shada. I don't do Shada. I don't even like. See, like, I like Rin as a character in Togeni Nanochi. He's the Shada of the game. But as love interest characters, I'm not into that. I don't like it. When I took another look, I noticed he wasn't wearing a bow tie like Sakuma and the others. He was wearing a cute boyish uniform with a ribbon. For some reason, his fluffy hair reminded me of a Pomeranian my neighbors had when I was a kid. He had cleaning implements with him. I guess he's another of the East State servants. I don't know and I don't care. Boy named Kazuma Arisato gave a friendly smile and a brisk bow. He's more than young, more like childish even. Isn't child labor illegal? I don't think this guy would be stupid enough to have a underage butler. <laughs> Not that we ever meet the guy. I don't know, maybe there's an ending. We do meet this guy who runs the place, but when I played it, I didn't meet him, so. He's a mystery. Technically, can't you really get married at like 15, even as long as you have a parent signature or something, though? Like, don't 16-year-olds get married? As long as they have their parents' signature. Listen, if you have to have a parent's signature for anything, you are not an adult. I don't care. A parent or guardian signature. You're not an adult at all. I mean, maybe in some cases you might need a guardian signature for something, but like a witness, I guess, but you know what I mean, right? Like people who are like 16 and they try to act like they're so adult and it's like, you don't, you don't even pay taxes. Shut up, sit down. いいんです。まだ身長だって伸びる可能性あるし、そのうち佐久間さんみたいな立派な執事になるんです。だからお掃除は僕がやります。ご主人様は休んでてください。That's right, bitch. Yeah, that's right. You better speak to me properly or else. All the enthusiasm drained out of him like a dog. I hold on. Okay. My cat jumped on my computer, so I couldn't see what I was reading for a few seconds. All the enthusiasm drained out of him, like how a dog looked when drooping its ears. Hahaha! <laughs> Arisato's expression shifted back to a cheery smile. Because he's a frank, simple, good kid, the type likely to get taken advantage of. それじゃあ、急いでここのお掃除しちゃいますね。掃除機取ってきます。Arsato declared in high spirits as he ran off, but uh, let me guess he slipped. Tripped? Look out. Just as he passed by me, Arsato tripped. Clots. Even though it seemed like it was happening in slow motion, I just froze. <laughs> Suddenly, something cold hit my face and I ended up on my head. It was wet and smelled faintly of dust. Suddenly, 
got that little tooth he's got sticking out? Or, my, or is that like just sweat and it's basically in his mouth? The claw? Dust. The dust claw. The thing on my head right now is undoubtedly a dust claw. It's calm down, it's water, it's not acid. So far, this is super anime like. Like, you could just picture them moving in an anime. Like, couldn't you? It's just a dusty smelling cloth, and the water really didn't look dirty. I'm not OCD or anything, so I would have been content just to wipe myself off. Like a child. I hate children. Oops, sorry, let me uh Where is it? Here we go. Hora, Uagiwa Mizuhajiku Kizashi. Taista go to Maikara. Okay. Yeah, I try and like pause when they get done talking because I'm not sure if they're done talking. I tried to sound as gentle as I could. Daro? <laughs> it was like I was talking to a little kid. I guess his mental age matched his outer appearance. Arasato hung his head as he passed Sakuma, who was on his way back with the towel as he ran off. Put him in the cellar. That's what you can do to make it up to me. Put the kid in the cellar where he belongs. That was my cat steward, not mine. <laughs> I took the towel and gently rubbed it against my head. It was doing a good job of soaking up the water. I was planning on taking on my jacket anyhow, so it wasn't really an issue. I guess they're just walking on eggshells around me. Then again, if they were all tactless as Kamine, that'd be a problem too. 